Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. I just came back from a trip and I have a new goodie that just arrived. It is this uh, GSDUN watch which is supposed to be made out of uh, tungsten steel. Now the description on Amazon it was a little bit sketchy <laughs> and I don't know exactly if the whole thing is made out of tungsten tungsten or just the the bracelet or just the middle part the these diamond shapes on the on the bracelet now the reason I got this new watch is because uh, I have this watch the reason I have this watch is because the previous watch to this, it was a Tissot that was given to me as a gift from my brother, went bad and I decided to buy a new watch and at that point I went a little bit down the rabbit hole with the watches. And I came to the conclusion that I want a uh, mechanical automatic movement, there are three types of movement. There is the quartz, which requires a battery, which is electronic. It's the most accurate, but also goes out the fastest. There's the mechanical movement uh, that requires you to wind the, the watch um, every, every day, probably, or every two days. And there is this type, which is automatic, meaning that it has a mechanical movement but it also has this counter lever here in the back that automatically winds up the clock. Now, the newer versions usually come with a little window in the back that uh, will, will give you a little uh, peek inside yeah, the, the, the skeleton. You, you will see what's going on inside the watch. This one is mechanical movement as well. And the reason I changed this watch. This is an Invicta Pro Drive Pro Diver 200 meters titanium watch. Now, why did I choose to change it after only one year? Well, the reason I wanted this type of watch is because if you watch my previous videos, you will know that I work in trucking, um, and I'm anyway. I'm not that careful with my watches, and I bang them all over the place and they get scratched pretty fast. So I wanted something durable, something really hard that will, um, will resist scratching better than my previous stainless steel watch from Tissot. But as it turns out, titanium is bulletproof but not scratch proof. Um, let me try to show you the bracelet after only one year There you go. You see, it is full of scratches. It is absolutely horrible. I mean, it's cool that it's titanium and all that, but I was hoping for a better durab durability exactly because it's titanium. You might also notice that my bracelet is, uh, is the other way around. And that happened because um, at the beginning when I got the watch, I didn't fit it right. I made it too short and I kept popping the, the telescopes here at the, at the end. So, and I ended up losing one of these end caps. So I had to buy a separate stainless steel bracelet and use the end caps from that to make them uh, match. make the match like that and uh, yeah the watch itself now if you wouldn't look here you see that little Invicta logo it was right there it just went away I mean in Amazon I wrote other people I wrote about other people telling me that the the main chevron came off or other little bits inside the watch face came off i mean come on invicta how hard is it to use a better glue on these watches i mean the design i love it uh the bezel moves it's water resistant i can bathe with it i can 
uh, go to the pool. Uh, it's it's excellent. I don't have to take it off. I put it on my wrist and I forget that it's there unless I need it. So as an idea, as a as design and everything, I love the watch. But I hate the fact that it got scratched really fast. And I hate the idea that this came off like one week after I got it. It was just running all over around until it got stuck in that corner and it stayed there afterwards. The crown, you have to unscrew it and then you can uh, wind the clock, then you pull it out and you fix the date, then you pull it out one more time and then you fix the, the time. It also has uh, luminous um, points on it. And it's uh, really nice and visible during the night. So I love the watch. Invicta, if you're listening, um, the do this watch. Do it in tungsten steel and with better glue. And I'm sold. This would be a hit. I mean, I was ready to buy a tungsten watch from... Um, from Swiss legend, but that model is no longer being produced and I couldn't find it on, on, on eBay. So if anybody knows how, how to help me get my hands on a, on a Swiss legend tungsten watch, let me know because I want one. Now, this brings me to my new watch, this JDS Sun. J no J S D U N anyway, so it's pretty nice. Maybe I should have got it with a different face, the the black one. This is blue, but it's okay. I like it. For now, it's brand new. It's nice and shiny. You have these diamonds in the middle. You have these uh, little parts here between the diamond and the exterior part of the bracelet. They move independently and you can also get this in different colors. You can get the, the, the little things with, with gold. So it looks a little bit different and there are a few different watch faces. Now, from what I read in the, in the description, at some points it says that the whole thing is tungsten. In other points it says that just the diamonds are tungsten and then probably the sides and the case is stainless steel the watch is still brand new it also had a um, actually two bracelet adjusting devices in the in the box i already adjusted it and hopefully this watch will last me nice and long and it will stay shiny like this for a very very long time just like my wedding band which i love it it's, I know, it's not gold. A lot of people, oh no, it has to be gold, it has to be platinum, it has to be white gold, it has to be whatever. No, I like the tungsten. This thing is indestructible. If I hit the concrete or if I hit a steel plate with this, with this ring, the concrete or the steel plate gets scratched, not my ring. So, I love it. And you can also get this type of bands with... Uh, with little cubic zirconia or uh, even diamonds or fake diamonds in them. Uh, not fake, but artificial diamonds. They're still diamonds, but they're grown in the lab. So if you look for it, you can find it. They're also not expensive. And as far for my wedding band, I love it. And I, I hope I'm going to get the same thing with the watch. So this is all for now. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to keep the internet alive and see you on the next one. Bye bye.